Capcut is dead. Or is it okay? Maybe not dead, but Capcut has gone really crazy. It's no longer news that Capcut is no longer free. I mean, even to export in 1080p, ordinary 1080p, you have to be on their premium plan. And for those of us in Nigeria or USA, the premium plan is not that cheap or affordable. Then people have moved on. Everybody has found better alternatives. You are the only one who is still finding a way around Capcut. And in this video, I'm going to show you um five other alternatives to Capcut that are better cheaper some of them are even free stick around my most favorite is number two so let's go starting out at number five you want to watch if not subscribe subscribe first of all if you're yet to subscribe and turn on notifications have you done that all right starting out at number five we have InShot. InShot has been around for a very very long time and personally i underrated the InShot app because i felt like it was just too basic and it was for beginner video editors and all of that it didn't have a lot of features or effects but lately i checked out InShot. these guys have leveled up they have almost everything capcut has keyframes noise reduction um filters effects audio effects a lot of things a lot of features and mostly all these features are free unlike CapCut where everything is now pro 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 on in short you find this free of charge and the version i have if you watch an ad you can take away their watermark and export for free you can even export in 1080p and i think even 2k you can export in 2k resolution coming up at number four we have another app from the makers of in short it's new it's called U Court. U Court was, you know, made to like be a rival to CapCut, and you can really check it out. It's nice. It's not entirely free, but it's cheaper than CapCut is. And then at number three, we have an app that I'm not really big on. Yes, why am I saying that? This app does not allow you to edit the aspect ratio. This app has a lot of bugs. The export time is so long, but it is a good alternative to CapCut only for one reason: for the captions. It has really cool captions with really cool styles, really cool fonts. The name of the app is Edits by Instagram. The first time I used it, I used it extensively. I was not impressed, but I believe that the app is in development and it might get better. So yeah, you can check it out. Now, before I say my number two, if you're not yet subscribed to this channel at this point, you're missing out on a whole lot because the next video I'll be posting later on this channel is how you can make money consistently as a freelancer whether you're a graphic designer or a video editor so make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out when i post that video so now to my most favorite coming at number two is called the spring video editing app spring video editing app is from the makers of kind master spring video editing app is really cool is really nice the interface is amazing it looks almost like CapCut. the interface is easy to navigate it has captions it has a lot of cool effects it even has features that CapCut does not have such as text wrapping you know overlay wrapping where you can do text or do your images in 3d perspective it's really really cool yes not all the features are free of charge but it's very cheap i think the subscription was 12,000 naira for a year last time i checked a whole year just 12,000 naira that's very very cheap the downside that i've noticed is that unlike CapCut, and um, when you want to add captions in the spring app you have to download an entire asset that is over 500 mb of space um when you want to use effects you have to download those effects something like plugins they look like plugins you know yes but overall the app is really wonderful it's really nice the export time is not so fast but it's manageable and it's a lightweight app in case your phone doesn't have much ram it doesn't lag as much as CapCut does on low-end phones before number one let me add a bonus you've probably never heard of this app it's called vn video editor i used to use it some years back it's not free as well but again it's cheaper than CapCut and maybe even slightly better than CapCut. i like the text templates on the app the text templates are really really nice um really really cinematic really really professional and a lot of other features on the app so yeah you can check it out and maybe even pay for their premium and then finally on number one is the og that has been around for a very very long time it's called kind master kind master has been around for a long time the reason why i don't use kind master was because kind master had restrictions for use on my device for some reason a lot of persons experience that too but kind master is really really good and if you want to know how to edit on a professional level with your phone 
Kai Master is one of those apps that you should check out. So yeah, don't let CapCut stop you from editing your cool videos. Don't let CapCut stop you from being a video editor. Because I mean, there are plenty of alternatives out there that are better and even cheaper than CapCut. I'm going to link all the Play Store and Apple Store links to all these apps in the description of this video so that whichever one interests you, you can check it out. If you have any question concerning any of these apps, just let me know. I'll be in the comments. I'll answer. And if there's any other video that you'd like for me to make, if there's any other question you have, just let me know. I'll make a video about that, you know, graphic design, video editing, freelancing, upwork, how to make money online. How to use ai to improve your workflow as a freelancer just let me know i'm going to make a video on that so with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one